Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food adventure just for you and just for you. I am in the freezing cold town of Newmarket, Ontario, Canada at Frankie's Hot Chicken. It's a Nashville hot chicken place and they're popping up all over Ontario and I believe across Canada. And this is a ghost location. So they don't actually have a storefront. They're actually working out of a Lone Star Texas Grill. Uh, I came into the area, I knew their address, came into the area, can't find it, had to give them a call, which was a good thing because they they prefer taking orders over the phone. I said, where are you located? She says, Lone Star. And so I'm like, make a U-turn, come back here. I'm sitting in uh, the parking lot uh, and she took my order and what we did, I first of all I had to thank Mark Kaufman for sending me a message this morning. I woke up, Open up my phone. Mark sent me a message saying you got to check out this place called Frankie's Hot Chicken in Newmarket. I'm like Newmarket Hot Chicken. Let's do it. And so I came down here today to do it. They have an app. Uh, they have lots of different kinds of chicken. They have the Oham for people who don't want the hot and spicy. Then they have the regular Nashville hot, and then they have the hot AF as Frankie, as they say. And I went with that. I want to be the hot hot chicken because it is a cold, cold day. So let's go in there. Uh, like I said, I grabbed the sandwich. It comes with curly fries or onion rings and slaw. I asked her what's best with the combo and she said the curly fries over the onion rings, but they're both good. So I said, okay, let's do the curly fries with a side order of onion rings. And she said, not a problem. So let's go in there, grab that. It's probably ready by now. Come back here and eat it with you guys. Are you ready? Let's go. Sir. Have a good one. Me too. Right. I will. Woohoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. So, I now know what is going on. It was a little chaos when I first walked, or when I first came here. With the, so, it turns out this Frankie's uh, hot chicken is a ghost kitchen but that was started by Lone Star so it all comes together slowly over time so I talked to a lady in there very nice staff and uh, she's like yeah pre pretty much in all the Lone Stars they have these ghost kitchens uh, for and again the people that created this were the chefs of Lone Star and so they have this little side thing going on which is great and uh, I said I had the, the really hot stuff. I asked her if she had it. She said yes, but she really likes spicy food. I really like spicy food. And she's like, well, do you want a side order or a little side sampling of the Nashville hot? And I said, sure. And I was going to shake that up because you can tell there's a, a little bit of a separation going on in there. And I'll try it on maybe one of the onion rings or the fries and we'll see how uh, hot this is. Maybe we'll do that first. That way we go from regular... Uh, Nashville up to the AF. Let's take off the jacket first. I want to be as comfortable as I can. It's freezing cold outside, but uh, it's kind of warm in here at the moment. It will get colder. I might have to turn on the uh, the car eventually. So let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, let's get this bag open. So the chicken sandwich combo was $12.49. Plus I added the $3.99 uh, onion rings, and then uh, I added a 20% tip. So all in all, it came to $22.34. Let me know if you live in Nashville, what you think of this. Because I was in Nashville with a bunch of guys for a football trip many years ago. And uh, we went to 
uh, Hattie B's and uh, we were the last persons there for the day and they refused us because they had a person standing at the end of the line stopping people from lining up because they knew exactly how much chicken they had and at this point of the line they're not gonna have any more chicken so they only make so much per day and my buddy Paul and I were late by a little bit so we missed out on actual Nashville hot chicken but all my Nashville people who love their Nashville hot chicken let me know if you like this if you like the look of it it smells fantastic by the way let's do that the biggest mistake I made right now is I don't have anything to drink I'm gonna have to go in and get something we are back in the car once again ladies and gentlemen glasses are fogged fingers are froze all right so this is probably the full meal deal here and that's probably the onion rings let's open it up and we'll discover if i'm right or not all right these are curly fries your nashville hot af and then we've got so it does have nashville hot chicken sauce on it but then they've upped it with a special hot sauce on top of it then we've got some onion rings nicely breaded all right let's put let's lay this stuff out somehow all set up let's go in for a close-up check this out people holy cow i am definitely going to eat every single bite of this beautiful looking meal over here we got our curly fries all seasoned up and over here we got these beautifully breaded onion rings cooked to golden brown super thick onion rings for sure and then over here we got our Nashville hot chicken sandwich. It's basically two tenders, I believe. Let's lift this lid up. Oh, check out, look how soft and fresh that bread is, that bun. Let's open this up. Yeah, there's a couple big, huge chunks, maybe three very large. Oh, look at all the pickles on there too. Almost missed that. You gotta have the pickles with the Nashville hot. So I'm thinking it's three chicken tenders on there. And it's all coated up with that hot sauce, a Nashville hot sauce. And over here we have our two sauces. One's like a Frankie's special sauce. And I think the one on the left is a dill. And as you can see, when I was transferring all that stuff over, putting it all in one box, one of the onion rings fell and slowly started to drown. So I guess we're gonna do that first. All right, I already sanitized my hands and everything. So here we go. Going in for this first onion ring that is just coated. I don't want it to drip anywhere else. Whoa, it's gonna drip again. There you go, stop dripping, stop dripping. Here we go. Mmm, nice creamy, a nice creamy dressing. Lots of dill, like flavored, lots of dill flavor. Okay, we're gonna try an onion ring as is. You know how crunchy that was? I don't mind this breading once in a while. A type of panko crust breading. It's nice and crunchy. Again, there's different breadings that they that people make for the onion rings. And I think um A and W does this kind of breading too. Alright, let's try Another small one. Got a bite to it. A little bit of a spice. Mm-hmm. I'm already messy. I've only had a couple onion rings. Jeez. I got two cans of iced tea just in case I need it. I'm expecting it to be crazy hot, people. What would you drink with this? Okay, let's do a couple of these curly fries big huge curly fries again very crunchy soft in the middle 
a nice um, seasoned salt uh, flair to it, but again, with a little bit of spice to it for sure. I'm guessing it's like cayenne pepper on there that's making it hot. But it's very, very subtle. Not bad. The onion rings are very good straight up, as is. Oh. They were nice enough to give me this Nashville hot uh, sauce on the side, so let's do it with a, a curly fry. Okay, let's dip. Uh, it is thick on the bottom. That's all that, oh, all, super thick on the bottom. So it's like an oil and then Cajun spices or, or cayenne pepper for sure in there, eh? Check that out, all glistening. Let's go for it. Mmm. Lots of flavor. Slowly burning the tongue. Slowly, but surely. Just don't call me Shirley. Look at that one right there, people. Oh my goodness. My tongue is actually starting to burn. This hot sauce is pretty good. I think I looked up a recipe one time of Nashville hot chicken and I believe it's like a lot of cayenne pepper and oil and I expect my nose to be running profusely by the time we're finished this. All right, let's cleanse the palate before we move on. Okay, here we go. I'm going in for the Nashville hot chicken sandwich, the AF. Oh boy, check that out, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of chicken. Way to go, Lone Star chefs. Changing it up a little bit, making it cool. All right, here we go. Big bite of the first one. Hopefully I get uh, some, uh, I, I wanna make sure I get pickle on that first bite, people. You gotta do pickle. Ooh la la. There you go, there's, the, there's our first bite with a pickle on the top. All right, big bite. Do you think I get my mouth around that? Ooh la la. I think I can. Mmm. Juicy chicken. Very hot. Scotch bonnet. I'm not sure if they use ghost. I did read on their thing which two peppers they use. A scotch bonnet and something else. Habanero. Habanero and scotch bonnet. Ooh. I'm gonna have to take my hat off any second now. Wow. That's a lot of food. That hat's coming off. Cause I, I'm just heated up instantly. Mm -hmm. The tongue is burning. I'm definitely gonna have to come back and try just the regular straight up um, Nashville hot and just give that a shot and uh, without the killer spices on it because that's crazy hot man yeah but again the chicken is fresh juicy mm, fantastic mm. I'd ask for a few more pickles on that lots of pickles that helps it helps with the experience of enjoying these beautiful sandwiches like this. Every once in a while I get these crunchy bits of chicken. And just the breading. And again that, uh, see my nose is running. Can't fake that. Oh. Oh. Way to go, Lone Star. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to dip it. Or if that's just for my onion rings. Oh. She offered her sauce, and I said, I don't know which one would be best for this meal. So she said, I'll give you both. I'm like, okay. 
And I do like them both. I'm, I'm thinking maybe the, I'm hoping I'm doing this right, people. Maybe you put a little bit of this sauce on there like that. Or oh, a piece of the uh, Nashville hot chicken breading came off. I can't let that, that go to waste. And another piece fell into my dill. Uh-oh, don't drip. I'm trying really hard. Oh, that's pretty good with that sauce on it. I like that. Mm. I think to make the sauce with butter too, if I'm not mistaken. Again, when I looked up some of the recipes, it was like oil, butter, cayenne pepper, and that's just like for the regular Nashville hot. Mm. Woo! Lots of sauce on that part. I'm slowly losing vision in my eyeballs. Oh. Wow, that's a lot of pepper. Mm. I'm gonna have to like change it up for a second. Do some more fries. I'm not gonna dip that. This whole meal is phenomenal. I'm going to be doing a 72-hour fast for the very first time this week. It's going to be exciting. I need it. Give my body a little bit of a fat-busting time off. I think my last meal will be a salad. And maybe some fish, and that will be the last thing to go through my body for 72 hours. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever done a 72 hour fast, a 48 hour fast, 24? I do mainly 24 hour fast pretty much every single day. Unless I'm making a crazy video like this one for you and for me, of course. Mm. This is definitely a cheat day right now. Thanks Lone Star. Frankie's hot chicken. Okay, one more bite of this. Then we're back to the death sandwich. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. That's so, so good. Mm-hmm. The flavors are fantastic. A little sweet, a little savory. I'm definitely spicy. Yeah, my recommendation, guys, if you do like pickles, ask them to put six pickles on there and spread them out a little bit more. I'm getting, every once in a while, I'm getting a bite with no pickle. And the pickles are what makes a Nashville hot chicken sandwich that much better. Trust me. I used to hate pickles until Nashville hot chicken sandwiches came around. Now I like pickles. It works great together. All right, guys. I am loving that so much. I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to blow my nose. Hang on. Like I was saying, I'm going to have to give you guys a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all you amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This bite is for you. Cheers. Mm. Thanks, Mark. So good. All right, guys, we are all done. I'd like to thank Mark very much for sending me that message this morning. It set my whole day up for awesomeness and burning of my tongue and lips and everything else down my esophagus and into my stomach. This whole area right now is on fire. If you love hot, spicy foods, check out Lone Star's Frankie's Hot Chicken Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich. And go, if you love spice, go for the AF as Frankie not the other AF, you know what I'm saying?
And as it goes for the onion rings or curly fries, either of them are amazing, uh, but I recommend getting them both. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are all done. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that wicked playlist down over there, and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.